wow, I love that song. Seth, man, that gets me so fired up. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to this very, very special training we've just put together for you. Look, my dad just joined us. Hey, Pops, look, <laughs> it's an older, much more corpulent and less hair version of myself. Say hello. Hello, hey, guys. John, that's the biggest word I've ever heard you use. What? Hair? <laughs> corpulent. <laughs> Man, you guys don't even know. Have a seat, Happy. I'm at my family ranch in the southern part of Mobile, Alabama, near the Gulf Coast. Unlike Seth, who's in the middle of a cornfield in Indiana, and Curtis, who's calling in from on a beach in Clearwater. Clearwater, Florida, of course. So, man, I tell you what, my adrenaline is kicking. You guys don't even know, but. Seth and I, we've been working on what you're about to see since November. Imagine that, November. I've had to keep this thing under my hat that long, and we're about ready to blow the roof off this thing. This is literally the very first public display of what you're about to see. Some very, very unique content, thanks to Curtis and the gentleman over there at Managed by Stats. Uh, my father's going to sit in and uh, critique the show and tell me what I did wrong. You know, he's been... <laughs> He's been at this a lot longer than myself, but I'm literally bursting with enthusiasm because like I said, we've been doing this since November and it's getting a little bit ridiculous. So let me go, let me know if I come in a little too hot there, Seth. All right, buddy. Good, Thanks, Sean. Sound great. So Curtis, I want to introduce Curtis. Curtis, you sent an email out just a little bit ago that really had me tickled, man. I was laughing when I read this. Like, this is not hyperbole. This is not a cliche. We literally want you to be there. Listen, I'm not trying to be hyperbolic myself. You know, I'm, what I'm about to tell you is going to change the way you view your Amazon business forever, not just for today or for a few minutes. This quite possibly could be the most important webinar training you've ever attended, bar none. Why? Because just like Curtis promised, you, my friend, are handpicked. Yes, you've been hand selected, not because you have an email address, not because of any other reason except for what we know about you and your business. And based on that, we want you to see this first, okay? Now, if you're a newbie out there and you have no idea what I'm talking about and somehow you sneaked in here, feel free to hang up, save room for the pros because we're about ready to get into some super high level and highly effective insider stuff that's going to be shared here and it's going to be over your head. So. Without further ado, Curtis, say hello, man, and we'll jump in before I get it, before I jump out of my skin here. Sounds good to me. Hello, everybody. Good to good to see you all. I uh, I'm very excited for everyone who did make it here. Um, Sean is not kidding. I I just finished going through the slides again just a couple minutes ago. Seth and I have been like firing back like version after version, and um, I'm I'm personally extremely excited for the value of what this is gonna cover. So you guys are definitely in for a treat. All right, Seth, say hello. I want you every, I want everybody to uh, meet Seth Stevens. He'll be working in the back, uh, the back office there, behind the scenes, answering your questions in the Q&A box. So at any time, if something comes up, you have a question or a concern or a comment, just go ahead and type it in the question box. And if it's relevant to this conversation, we will get to it. I promise you we won't leave. We've done this for seven hours before, nonstop, and we're not going anywhere until all of your questions are answered or we bore you to tears. Seth, say hello and we'll jump in. Sean, I won't take up too much time for you guys because I can tell that you're bursting with energy and you're, like you said, you're about ready to jump through the roof there, guys. But uh, on your GoToWebinar control panel, look for the box that says questions. Don't do the chat because that's not where I'm gonna be looking. Look for the questions box, and if you have any questions, type those in there. Curtis and I will get right back with you. If it makes sense, I'll jump in front of Sean and, and uh, try to stop him for a moment. But as he promised, we will get to every single question, either in the box or at the end. Go ahead, Sean. Exactly. Thank you. Now, in an effort to save some bandwidth here, I'm going to go ahead and kill my webcam, but I will be back here front and center for Q&A and any time that I feel like it's necessary. All right? You're going to get to know me much closer or much more intimate than you ever thought possible in the very near future. But don't worry, I won't go anywhere. So thank you, Kurt. Thank you for the introduction. Thanks for saying hello, Seth. So what we're about to unveil here right now is the ultimate, what I feel, Amazon advantage. If you're not selling on Amazon, then congratulations, you're in the wrong place. You can stay around for the entertainment, but 
If you're not on Amazon, this won't make any sense to you, okay? If you are, don't go anywhere. Turn off your Facebook, turn off your phone, kill all your notifications and sit up and pay attention. Take screenshots if it makes sense. But I'm about to unveil a strategy that I guarantee none of your competition's doing, none of it. Why not? Because it's hard freaking work. Now, I know that you're not afraid of hard work, but this work I'm talking about is work that no one in our industry is even thinking about. And I accidentally discovered it. You're gonna find, you'll hear the whole story very, very soon. But I know you're not afraid of hard work, right? So that's really, really good news for you. If you're afraid of hard work, you're in the wrong place. What I discovered was an absolute accident. You know how we don't know what we don't know? Well, sometimes we don't know what we know. And I discovered early on in my Amazon business that what I do to build and grow my Amazon business is so much more different than what anyone else is doing. But why is that? Because I developed a certain skill set in my years in marketing products on TV, newspapers, radios, magazines, direct mail, you name it. And this skill set was easily translated and transferred nicely into our Amazon business. And it has been, my friend, instrumental in the rapid growth and profits that we've seen on Amazon and is still working today. Today, you're gonna see how I increase sales profitability, organic rankings, reviews, reduced returns, yes, even eliminate bad reviews. Crazy, right? How we build brands and maximize my company's value before we sell out using these very special skills that no one else uses in this industry. No one. To sum it up, sit up and pay attention because in the next 60 minutes, you're going to see several ways to quickly put more cash in your pocket because that's what we're here for, right? How many of you joined the Amazon FBA game because you needed a new hobby? Almost no one, right? We're all here to make money. But first, let me ask you, aren't you tired? Aren't you tired of going out there and using the exact same approach that thousands and thousands of other sellers who joined and took and graduated the exact same training course that you did, you're all using the exact same tactics. Yeah, that's what I thought. Will there be a replay? Yes. This question always comes up. There will be a replay and you'll be able to access it with the same link that you signed up with. So if you want to share it with a colleague, a friend, a neighbor, your attorney, your wife, whatever, any significant person, go ahead. But I'm going to be doing something very, very special on this live training that you will not find anywhere on the replay. So it goes without saying, it's worth your time to stay here. Stay attentive and you will be rewarded. Fair enough? Great. So what is this? Good question. This one of a kind seller training is designed to help you create and utilize an asset that you already have but you're not monetizing it. And show you how to generate raving fans, help with sales, rankings, conversions, and all that other jazz, right? You're gonna find out exactly how we use this asset to generate historically, are you ready? This is an important number, I want you to remember this. This will be on the test. 40% of our revenue, 40%, 40 cents from every dollar that we've generated in this business, has come from the tactics that I'm about to share with you, all right? We've been, we've been able to generate higher prices on our products than our competitors. We're able to rank faster, sell our brands for the highest amount of cash on exit. I didn't realize it until I was comparing notes with other sellers. We have sold dozens of brands that we've grown on Amazon and exited for higher multiples than almost every single person that I've encountered and it's all attributed to what you're about to find out. And this has been so instrument, instrumental, excuse me, in the growth of all of our businesses, not just Amazon. We just had to take this opportunity to share it with you. So how does this translate, okay? If 40% of my revenue has been generated from this, that doesn't mean that you can go out there and add 40% to what you're doing right now. And a lot of you are mistaken in thinking that, but that's not true. Let's do the math. 
let's say that I'm selling 100,000 per year for easy math, okay? If you're 10,000, just move the decimal point, all right? But let's just say for sake of argument and easy math, I'm doing 100,000 a year in sales. What's in it for you? If 40,000 of my revenue came from this strategy, then without this, I would only be selling 60,000, right? Are you with me? Now, if I add 40,000 to my 60,000 in sales, that's not 40% increase, it's a 66% increase in sales. That sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Look at the math, 40 divided by 60 equals 0.666, or in other words, 66.666%. Now, can you afford to not pay attention? Can you? What would a 66% increase in your current sales mean for you? <laughs> exactly. So lend me your time and attention here and I will show you a simple way to transform what you're already doing. And even if I'm just half right, the hour you spend here will be worth a lot of extra cash for you very, very quickly. So thanks again to Managed by Stats and their brands. Thanks to PPC Logic. Thank you, Phil Jepson, the founder and creator. Curtis, you just met the president. Thank you, Mark of PPC Logic and all your time and effort. We appreciate the opportunity to share these amazing strategies with your community, all right? Let me give you something, all right? There's an old cliche. Go ahead and go to this website now, postpurchasepro.com slash freebook, or if you're savvy enough with GoToWebinar, look in the bottom where it says handouts and download this free PDF. Why? There's an old cliche in advertising. It goes something like this. Only half of all advertising works, but the problem is what? We don't know which half. This book has been instrumental in my understanding and use of effective marketing that actually makes a profit. You need to devour it as soon as you can as it will create a monumental change, a shift in the way that you not only use marketing in your business, but also in the way that you view marketing as a consumer. Now, I've been in the direct response game for quite some time. I've even won awards in direct response newspaper advertising for the highest net return on advertising dollars spent on several occasions. This old direct TV, or yeah, direct TV, that's funny. This old direct response television commercial that I ran back in 2010 was responsible for $27 million in sales in just 90 days. Now, only 16 and a half million came directly from the inbound sales calls generated from this TV commercial. The other nine and a half million was from what we call the back end. The back end, more on that in a bit. But in all my past ventures on TV, radio, and beyond, it was literally impossible to have a profitable business without a real back end marketing strategy. Don't worry though, I'm gonna explain. Our business survival was dependent on creating a relationship with each and every caller or each and every buyer who entered our sales process. An ad like this one, we ran in over 4,000 US newspapers every single week, but this ad would barely even break even on the front end, but it was responsible for over $100,000 in daily sales thanks to our back end marketing. And this very little simple and ugly postcard to my mailing list, think about this. How important is a list if you knew that this postcard generated over 500,000 in sales every single time I mailed it, no matter how often we mailed it. Now, obviously you can't do any of this without a list, but you want sales proof, right? Check this out. Over $620,000 in sales in just one mailing of this simple little postcard. How are you gonna do that if you don't have a customer list? Now, I've had the privilege, my friend, of hosting massive training events with amazing entrepreneurs and partners all over the world, like this one in China. Maybe you've even joined me at one of these events. I've spoken on some very large stages in our industry, and I've had the opportunity to train other sellers on internet marketing. I've sold out $25,000 per day masterminds like this one in Orlando. It's crazy, right? Look, we've gotten to over 1 million per month in sales in the first two years of starting our business. 
and I've launched more than 1,000 unique private label products on Amazon to date. Crazy, right? Needless to say, but I'll say it anyway, we've learned a thing or three about what really makes an Amazon business successful. And I'm sharing a few tactics with you about that today. Here's the current balance in that account. Okay? So those of you that already have a dog in the fight and you're selling on Amazon, you know what this screenshot means. Every two weeks, that money goes to my account. Right? Listen, these results that we're talking about are not based solely on the traffic that Amazon has sent to my listings. No, we've tapped into our marketing skills learned in other industries to produce even more sales by harvesting and growing a very valuable customer list that we can use that customer list to send more traffic back to our listings and generate additional sales on Amazon. We've been able to tap into email marketing to produce more and more sales that we call post-purchase marketing that 99.8% of other sellers aren't even aware of. This is what has truly made a difference in our business. Email marketing, it's no secret, but email marketing doesn't have a space in most Amazon businesses. Amazon sends most of us sellers enough traffic to survive, but we've gotten tremendous results from emails and we see an amazing amount of engagement and huge opt-in rates and click-through rates to our listings that result in what? More sales. We continue to see better open rates on emails than any others. Why? It didn't start out this glorious for me though. I started selling roses in this van right here on the streets of central Indiana when I was 16 years old. I sold my first business at 27 and made my first million dollars. When we first began our post-purchase Amazon marketing, we started getting checks in the mail. Crazy, right? And we're still seeing success from these exact same principles. Meet my why. This is my son. This is why I do what I do. My wife, Crystal, and my four children, Haley, Cash, Moses, and Heaven. All right? Now you know who I am, but this is not about me. This is about you. This is about giving you the fundamentals for growth. Growth that comes without any real effort on your part. Pent up growth that you didn't even know existed. It's like walking out your door and finding a pile of cash. Let me make you some promises. My first promise, I'll show you how you can easily harvest your customers' real emails and contact information and do this in a way that is 100% compliant within Amazon Terms of Service. And the best part, in my opinion, your customers will actually be excited to opt into your list. We found over the long haul that our customer emails have an average value of $2 per month. Crazy, right? We've automatically created more sales and profits for our businesses using this valuable list, and we've done it to the tune of 40% of our gross revenue. My next promise I'll show you why it's important to have a systematic flow for your entire sales process and how to organize that flow for maximum sales and profits. The sales process should never be one and done. Never. We are not in the transaction business. No, we are in a relationship business. With a real relationship, you can go back to your customers anytime you want and generate more sales. Now look, our sales flow looks like this. We have a deliberate journey that our customers travel each and every time they enter our sales process. It's this kind of journey that can deliver you results over and over without ever wearing out your list. Here's my other promise to you. I'm gonna show you how and why you should manage your customer list to create the maximum value for your business. You need to remove deadbeat names from your list. I'm sorry. You need to constantly scrub and clean your list. The idea is to only keep those hyper responsive and highly engaged customers on the list who look forward to seeing and opening your messages and enjoy doing more business with your brand. My other promise, last but not least, you're soon going to understand that what you say to a customer has a very dramatic effect on what they will or will not do for you. 
we have to remember that your customer is a real person. We have to speak to your customer in a language that makes sense for your brand and your industry. Every single word needs to be deliberately placed to compel an exact action on their part. It's about copywriting. I'm sorry, but most sellers are afraid to write to your customers. You don't know what to say. You don't know how to say it. You don't know when to say it or how much to say it. Some of us try to overwhelm our customers by writing an essay in each message. We need to focus on a clear and concise message that promotes an exact action that benefits everyone. It's called back-end sales. As you know, in my past businesses, we've literally depended on all of the action that takes place after the initial sale. It's these after sales activities that our survival is dependent on. If we didn't produce revenue after the initial contact, then we'd simply not survive in business. Now, I assumed when I started Amazon in 2014 that you and all the other sellers out there knew about this stuff. But we soon found out that only one out of 100 sellers were paying attention to this important part of the business. In 2014, Amazon was much easier. Sellers would receive enough buyer traffic from Amazon alone to survive. But what about today? Now in Amazon's ever-changing landscape, we need to do more to not only compete, but to exist. Without a clear back-end marketing plan, we're leaving 40% of our revenue for someone else to come along and grab in our place. You cannot put your head in the sand and pretend you don't know about this anymore. Here's what happened. Out of complete ignorance and a lot of luck, we approached Amazon similar to my past business. We put a ton of value on our back end and the results have been astounding. How would you like to receive a pile of extra checks every week when you go to the mailbox without any real effort? All you have to do is take them to the bank and deposit them. Now, of course, you won't be receiving checks from these tactics, but you can send your buyer traffic back to your Amazon listing to produce more sales and longer lasting results. We discovered this after about $423,696 we received in checks. Now, we don't go to the bank. We just send our traffic directly back to Amazon every time, and you can too, completely within terms of service. Look, I've tried to teach this stuff in several countries, China, Singapore, Russia, Israel, Mexico, and of course the US, and I keep hearing the same excuses over and over and over. Sean, I don't know where to start. So where do you start? Well, you can't do anything without a customer list. And I'm not talking about a list of transactions from Amazon. I'm talking about a real living and breathing list of humans that like you and want to do more business with you. And here's what I know about lists. Customer lists are valued in many ways. They're not all created equal. The three most common metrics for value are recency, frequency, and value. That is, how recent have you purchased from me? How many times have you purchased from me? And finally, how much money have you spent with my business in aggregate? Now, do you want to know where I learned these skills that give us an unfair advantage on Amazon? Here's another example. Look at this. This simple little ad produced over $9 million in profits for me in just eight weeks back in 2011. What's the secret to this success? What do you think? Back-end offers. We offer additional units for $99. We offer express shipping, tech support, extended warranty, and many, many, many more upsells. Now, an inside employee who I'm friends with today, I won't mention any names, as he was under my employee, he knocked off my ad because he seen the crazy amount of success. He said, hey, not only do I want my salary, I want a piece of that pie, baby. So he created this ad and sold the exact same product at a higher price and even fulfilled the orders from eBay. Pretty smart and industrious, but you know what? He sold it at a higher price, but he didn't make any profits at all. Why? Because it had no back-end sales. Now, let me ask you, have you ever copied a product and listing, but you couldn't make it profitable? I have. 
Have you ever launched a new listing on Amazon and lost money while your competitors seem to be thriving? Maybe you've wondered why they can sell at a lower price and still make huge profits. Maybe you're only seeing the tip of the iceberg. Here's the difference. My net book, 159. My knockoff, 179. Cost of goods, we'll say it's the same. Cost of selling, maybe that's the same. It cost me $100 in advertising for every order that I received. Let's assume he had the same. My cost for shipping was 20 because I was shipping thousands of orders a day. His cost was a little more, 25. My profit for every order was $119, while this, I'll call him a gentleman now, maybe not back then, but he only profited $1 per order before customer returns. How is this possible? You math whizzes out there, you're doing the math, you're like, this is crazy, you're nuts, right? How did I profit $119 on every single sale on average and pocket nine million bucks while he was losing money? It's a secret called average order value. My average order value was 312, while this knockoff artist average order value 179. This is what our business looks like, all right? We had an entire sales process that leveraged our relationship with each individual caller and provided more offers and more value, therefore increasing our average order value and the lifetime value of each caller. We sold more products immediately while the customer's on the phone and other products over the next several months. This, my friend, is exactly why you're here today. This is exactly how we approach Amazon today. While other sellers are only focused on the initial order, nuts, right? You can't ignore this anymore. Now, this is just one example of how a customer list can be created, of how valuable a customer relationship can really be, and why you should treat every single new buyer as a customer with a relationship instead of a transaction. You shouldn't be going, ching, next, ching, next, ching, next. No, you foster and harvest and feed a relationship, mutually beneficial, that drives more sales, more ranking, more reviews, more profits for you. This is why Amazon doesn't want to share this important customer information with you and why Dollar Shave Club, thanks to their customer base, sold for $1 billion in cash to Unilever Corporation. Remember this, customer lifetime value. Each customer that gets introduced to your business, your brand, your products, has a lifetime value associated with them, whether you want to admit it or not. Now, do you think Amazon knows the total value of all your purchases as a consumer to date? You bet they do. That's why they don't want to share with us. 40%. Over time, this is why 40% of our revenue has come from everything we need and do after the initial purchase. If your business is losing money right now, if you're breaking even right now, wondering where your win's going to come from, pay attention. This is true. 40% across the board in every business I've ever been involved in, both physical and digital products. After interviewing other high-level sellers like myself, the same 40% principle rings true for them too. Are you leaving 40% on the table? Look at this. In this custom sales funnel, we were offering a product with an upfront offer of just $39, okay? This means you enter my sales process with the understanding that you are there to spend $39. But you can see over time that our average order value is over $670 March through May. Look, this recent screenshot from our Amazon backend sales where we accidentally sold an additional 1,082 items and generated an additional 25,000 in revenue and we didn't have to work for this at all. This is just another example of what you can do when given the knowledge and the tools, but never without a customer list. Look, here we were able to instantly send our Amazon offer 
out to over 50,000 contacts that resulted in 2,333 clicks back to our listing in just one week and generated over $8,000 in extra sales. This took me all of one minute to do, but you can't do this without a customer list. It's impossible, okay? Bear with me here. We've discovered quickly the secret sauce, if you want to call it that, to our faster growth, better ranking, higher prices, more reviews, and higher business valuation is due to our back-end marketing approach. With a customer list, the first order is just the beginning. We are not a transaction business who relies solely on the traffic provided by Amazon Search. Since we've already acquired the customer, each subsequent sale is more and more profitable because we lower our cost of selling and we see higher conversions from our customers every single time. Here's another case study. In this example, we used a real consumer email list of buyers who purchased one of our Trump 2020 souvenirs. This is a product that we sold on Amazon. This list only consists of about 11,000 names but produced crazy results for us in a two week study, actually 15 days. Here's what it looked like. We had 11,000 people on the list, only about half of those that opened any of my messages in the last 30 days, terrible, right? Well, only 26%, or I'm sorry, 2,600 of that 5,500, a little bit better than half, are so what we call hyperactive, like they've clicked at least one button in one of my several emails over a 30-day period. That's not very exciting, all right? Only a handful of those buyers or those contacts actually made a purchase because what we do is we have to sift and sort the buyers from the liars, and we do that with offers. Out of 962,679 emails sent in my 15-day test, <laughs> are you ready for this? We produced 1,500 in orders here, 8,000 in orders here, and total four orders that we tested. Out of 11,000 names, we produced $9,971 in new revenue, AKA profits, not sales. This is profits in two weeks. What does that mean? This means that every single one of those 11,000 names on my list, if you average it out, we're worth about $1.80 each every month. My 30-day openers were $3.60 every month. My clickers were worth about $7.66 every month. And every single name on my list, if you count all 11,000 deadbeats and all, every name was worth over $20 every year. So just 1,000 names, my friend, 1,000 names. There are 1,000 people registered for this webinar. That's not a lot. Just 1,000 names means $21,600 extra cash in your pocket and pure cold hard profits every single year. Now, you can see the true power in this, can't you? Who says yes? Let's do a quick check to make sure we're still breathing air out there, Seth. What are we seeing so far? <laughs> yes, why, yes, 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 of course. More, yes, 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 yes. See, yes, every yes, now yes, and again, yes. I have to stop and take a breath. Yep. Take a drink of water so I don't lose my enthusiasm or lose my voice, all right? I only do this every so often, so I'm not used to it. But listen, it was so uh, important. Linda says, yes, but it looks like a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> no, Linda, not so fast. Calm down. Here we go. <laughs> Before we start the first training segment to blow your mind, let's talk about what most sellers do. Maybe this is you. Raise your hand if you're guilty. Most sellers have no list, have a list that they don't use, or you've purchased email of pens and you don't know what to do with them. Shame on you, but we're going to change that. Most of you are afraid to send marketing emails, don't know what to say in your emails, think this is against some secret terms of service or against some U.S. spam laws, or maybe you think your customers are going to report you to Amazon. That's funny. What we do differently, it's simple. We deliver value and a lot of it. Other sellers, 
you produce a very poor insert that gets almost no opt-ins. Or you send poorly worded emails that never get opened. You have no copywriting skills. Or you'll get stuck and quit after your first email gets no opens. If you're unable to produce real results and you send emails with no clear call to action, you're giving up too soon. You're giving up. It breaks my heart. But it's often very painful for me to see what you're sending out in your product inserts. Ugh, it makes me cringe. Or in your email messages, oh my gosh. Now, let's get started with some content. In my promise number one, I said I'll show you how you can easily harvest your customers' real emails and other contact information in a way that's 100% compliant and it's within the Amazon's terms of service. And your customers will actually be excited to opt into your list. Imagine that. So in training module 1.A, harvesting customers' contacts, you ready for this? First of all, this can't be about you. This has to be legitimately 100% about the customer experience. You have to provide obvious value and you have to give and give and give before you can ever expect to receive. You have to make your messages an absolute no brainer for your customer. See what we do with inserts is we tell them exactly what's in it for them. And we provide a very good reason to take notice and an excellent reason to stop and take action. Action's what it's all about. We make it very, very easy to follow by providing excellent customer service. It's not about me. It's about you when I say, hey, not all widgets are created equal. In order to ensure your safety and prevent voiding your warranty, you should go right now and watch the short safety and instructional video at this URL. That's customer service, my friend. Here's what we've seen from you. Hey, opt into my list, me. Let me email you, me. Write me a product review, me, me, me. I hate this. Here are a few samples. Would you leave us a product review on Amazon, says Johnny Seller. Would you join my mailing list, says Susie. Sign up for a free item here, says Pat, a little bit better. This is the worst. I actually received this in a purchase recently. I wish you like you purchase. Go here and like to leave a review from purchases. Thanks you from your Chinese supplier. Well, this is a great effort, but it's what we would call the Wong approach, okay? Don't ever leave it up to your supplier to create your inserts. Product inserts are the most effective way to build a hyper-responsive list and the most valuable customer contact to have. They are recent, remember the value? They have actually asked to join your list and if done right, they're trained to open your emails. Look, we start training our customers from email number one. Look at this, 91% open rates for a first engagement, unreal. How? By setting the tone of the relationship and leading the customer down a very strategic path. When you train your customers to open and you send content that benefits them, your email service provider increases your sending reputation, so your emails actually get delivered. Now, not too fast. This is not about sending tons of messages that are meaningless babblings about you and your brand and provide no real value for the receiver. This is not about drafting a multi-week sequence to please yourself or win some literary award that doesn't even exist. It's not about making it pretty and shiny so you can feel good about it. This is about controlling the conversation, setting the pace, creating a deliberate path through value delivery, and providing value first always before you ever ask for anything, and sticking with that delivery through basic automations. What we like to create is what we call a slippery slope where every interaction that we have with our customer is very strategic and deliberately leads to the next action. We create a situation where each step is thought out and leads them to continue an exact process leading to a specific goal that you have in mind for them. 
this unique process should always force your customers to fall in love with your brand, not opt out. Fall in love with your brand, not report it as spam. Fall in love with your brand and look forward to getting your messages like this flow. You should create a unique and more profitable relationship with each and every customer and along every step of your flow. Now, at first, this looks intricate and confusing, I'm sure. But this step-by-step -step process is developed over time. It's tested continuously and always tweaked for maximum results. Now, who's having fun so far? Are you having a good time? You want some more of this, don't you? Before I jump into the next training module, Seth, go ahead and launch my poll for me while I wet my whistle here. Sean, some of these uh, answers are funny. Yeah, everybody's having a good time. Me, 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 yes. The flow chart makes me dizzy. <laughs> All right, I just launched the poll. Now, I want you to answer honestly when you see this poll pop up on your screen because it helps me when it comes to pacing the next couple of segments, okay? This isn't about me. I already know this stuff, folks. This is about you. If you want to seriously move the needle in your business in the right direction, then pay attention because we're about ready to do a deep dive here. All right, so, wow. So we have uh, about, let's see, just getting started is 32%. Let's see, 22% of you are comfortable, but you want to grow. 16% in growing have a good business with decent experience. 23% of you are very experienced. Okay, so we're all over the board here. Only 48, 49% of you have voted. So that means the rest of you are either don't know how to operate a computer, you're watching on a cell phone, or you don't care. Help me deliver better <laughs> content. Let's close this poll. Seth, you got something to say? Don, it looks like so more than half of our people are um, comfortable and uh, want to grow. So that's good. Perfect. Let's move on. And apparently 5% of these people don't belong in this webinar like you were talking about. <laughs> Here for the, <laughs> hey, the entertainment value alone is worth the, worth the wait. Right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> share the results with all of you so you know we're not making this up. Tell me when the results pop up in your screen, and then I'll move on. They should see them. Sweet. <laughs> Who are all these people who say can't hear? <laughs> all right, screenshot that. It's going away in three, two, one. Beep. Hey, Curtis, did you like my uh, intro music, man? I love that song. Yeah, that's great. 